This clip is sponsored by American Mobile. If you're a nurse interested in traveling, visit AmericanMobile.com to get started. So tell me a little bit about day in the life as a deployed nurse and what what it's like to be deployed, especially in Afghanistan. Yeah, so I deployed in 2014, so it's a little different than it is now. Sure. Um, uh, but when you, you you get there and it's like three days straight of flying, you fly from the States through Germany and Kuwait, and it's it's just a whirlwind. Um, so after about, I think, 78 hours of flying, we finally got to where we were going, um, which was in oh itself gosh. is just exhausting. So yeah. like, you don't know what time zone you're in and you're, you've been flying for three days and you're just like, oh my gosh. Oh. Um and so once you kind of get into the routine, generally speaking, there's no real schedule. It's not like, oh, you're working three on, two off, um, mm-hmm. generally speaking, unless you're at like a really big um, hospital. Um, so the one at Bagram Airfield uh, was really big. Um, and then there was one at Bastion that was um, British run, but we served there as well. Um, and they actually had schedules. So you would work, you know, a set- certain amount of days and then you'd actually be off for a couple of days. Mm. Um, but I was in a smaller, um, a smaller facility. So we just kind of, you just worked all the time. <laughs> um, so you would be on pretty much seven days a week. Um, and yeah. depending you would on work your seven work. days a week or you would be on call. Mm-hmm. No. So you would work. Um, oh, man. uh, it was it, like, it was kind of hit or miss though, because we wouldn't always have patients um you know if Mm. we hadn't had a lot of combat going on or if we um you know there weren't people uh, we did a lot of really routine surgeries too um a lot of appendectomies so we had routine surgeries like that too but we didn't always have patients so if we didn't have patients um you know we wouldn't we would just be around and then you'd have a pager on and then if a trauma came in then you get called in Okay. Um, but it was very much like work when you have to sleep when you're not kind of thing. Mm. Um, and so you never really knew. And so like, and you didn't really have like a day shift and a night shift. You had the shift that you normally would work, but if there was a trauma at 3 a.m. or if it, there was like a, a mass casualty situation, everybody, la di da everybody got called in. So your pager wow. would go off and everybody would just run in. Um, and so typically speaking, uh, we served pretty much everyone we were on a multinational base so i actually got to work with um providers and teams from the czech republic from france bulgaria um and jordan um so that was really fun Um, so like the nurse next to you could be like speaking a different language than you Mm -hmm. yeah and uh, i mean a lot of them spoke at least general english um but but if they were working within their teams like the each nationality had like their own tea really they would have like doctors and nurses and aides and techs and stuff um but yeah so like in the trauma um a lot of times they would keep those teams together and so like you'd be working on somebody and there'd be somebody yelling in bulgarian next to you like, i really hope that they're okay because i don't know what they're saying would they um, like how were you ever in a situation where like somebody above you like a physician or something was trying to give you orders in like a different language and you were like trying to like, oh no like if if they were working with us or trying to actually communicate to us they they would speak english um okay. and so it yeah it did um i didn't work with those other teams in trauma um but generally if if they were working with other countries we all just defaulted to english yeah um so but it was it was great so like you would you know i got to learn all kinds of different like phrases like i you know got to learn a little bit of french i got to learn a little bit of german because the guards there were german Mm -hmm. um a little bit of arabic um so you got to learn like a lot um which was cool so generally speaking like day to day if we had patients i was a medical surgical nurse when i deployed um so i would show up to work we do shift report just like you know a normal hospital um you get report from the night nurse and say like hey this is what's going on um, mm-hmm. here's what's planned and then if it was just a, a calm day and there wasn't any chaos going on you know you would do your shift you'd have everything was on paper charts um we didn't mm-hmm. have okay. um, electronic charting there um and so you would just you know you'd give your meds you would talk with the doctors they'd round and then you'd kind of go on about your day um mm-hmm. but that wasn't always always the case and so you know we'd get like a trauma call in and 
um, depending on how many people were coming in. We'd leave some people back on the um, ward to watch the patient. So we usually sure. have at least one or two nurses that would stay back, watch the patients that we have, and then everyone else would be um, in the trauma bay getting ready to receive mm. those patients. How many people um, so would yeah. you have? At, like, do you remember how many patients total you had, like, all at once? Um, I'm trying to think. I think the most we had was when we first started um, – we had a lot of local nationals, so a lot of Afghani uh, mm. patients, and there was probably about 15 of those, and then we would have, on average, like, say, like, five to six, um, either U.S. or Allied forces, mm. um, so on average, about 20, 20 patients or so. Okay, but then how many would you have, like, personally, if there was 20 or so people on the unit um we we tried to keep it to like generally what we would do in the states okay. um like six to seven um but it kind of depended on we usually only had two people on the um the ward i guess if you want to call it that um at a time so um it was just whoever you, you'd split it up between the two of you and you just kind of make it with whatever you had gosh six is i've never i've <laughs> never had seven i've had six like on on nights or something but i mean i know that those ratios are out there but 